Executive Director of the Perkinson Center for the Arts and Education. I think that this may be an example of an annual presentation each August, similar to how we do the county fair and other strategic partners with us. As she's uh, walking up to the podium, uh, just as a reminder, this public-private partnership that was fostered a few years ago uh, resulted in a $17.4 million art center uh, right next to the Chester Library, uh, of which the county through the EDA was $15.2 million of the transaction, and the foundation uh, raised the other monies for the capital part of it. They are the operating agent of it, so they are a great tenant, if you will. Uh, but we work through them and make it easier for them in their startup through uh, custodial services and other uh, maintenance issues that we help to provide. And, uh, and you as a board every year, thus far, you've appropriated uh, 85000 I think, is the current fiscal year appropriation as a community contribution contract with them as part of our partnership. And last but not least, uh, you know, and, and, and Chelsea would hopefully vouch for this too, I mean, we want to bring the arts and, and, and culture uh, and theater to all of Chesterfield and uh, be remiss if we didn't also try and promote what may be the Swift Creek uh, theaters uh, presentations or even our high schools and, and, and all the activities in our high schools for which I think we're actually going to get an award a little bit later on uh, related to that topic. So, Ms. Balios. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, Mr. Chairman, members of the board, Dr. Casey. Thank you all so much for including the Parkinson Center on tonight's agenda. Before I get into the bulk of my remarks, I'd like to take this opportunity to acknowledge some of the audience members seated behind us. We have this evening members of the Chesterfield Cultural Arts Foundation Board of Directors under the leadership of our newly appointed board chairman, Matt Clark, accompanied by a board representation from Broken Leg Theater, as well as representatives from Cadencia and Pearl Street Comedy, our partners. We are so excited to have them. I'd also like to take this opportunity to acknowledge our dedicated staff and a cohort of volunteers who are here this evening who are always willing to lend a hand. Thank you all so much. Mr. <laughs> Chair, please stand, please stand and be <laughs> recognized <laughs> at this time. Thank you. It takes a village. It takes a village. It takes a lot of people to put on a production, so we got to give you, give you some <laughs> applause for that. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. The arts impact our lives daily, sometimes without us even recognizing it. And they allow us the opportunity to connect with the world around us and to cultivate better versions of ourselves. The arts are essential to humanity, and they are a crucial element that allows a community to thrive. It is important to really um, acknowledge that um, this center has been in the hearts and minds of community members for many years. And through the collaborative efforts of Chesterfield County, the Chesterfield Cultural Arts Foundation, and many community members, this Center for the Arts has finally come to fruition. Over the past year, we have been charged with breathing life into the Center for the Arts. And here is where we take a moment to pause and acknowledge all that we have accomplished and look towards the year ahead. Please enjoy this brief video. Welcome to the Perkinson Center for the Arts and Education, your home for the arts in Chester. The Baxter Perkinson Center for the Arts and Education is a public performing and visual arts center that provides and promotes cultural arts opportunities within our community. Managed by the Chesterfield Cultural Arts Foundation, the Perkinson Center seeks to improve lives and expand horizons by providing an inclusive, equitable, welcoming space where all members of our community are encouraged to create, explore, and access cultural arts. Our state-of-the-art facility features the 350-seat Jimmy Dean Theater, the Baxter and Elaine Perkinson Jr. Art Gallery, the Mr. and Mrs. James A. Jacobs Classroom, and an expansive multi-purpose education center. To learn more about our classes, art exhibits, 
and live events, visit us at www.perkinsoncenter.org. The Perkinson Center for the Arts and Education. Welcome home. Center changes lives for the better by bringing cultural arts and community together, bringing the power of art to all. Here are a few ways that we do this. We invite our community members to explore. Our gallery is a space that's not just a space that we showcase artists and their work, but we encourage community members to view this space as a blank canvas that allows the artist and curator to work collaboratively to tell the artist's story and also the stories that are found in the individual works. Our gallery hosts a variety of mediums and is open to the gallery, excuse me, open to the public and features a variety of gallery hours that people can come and enjoy anytime they would like. We are very, very proud to have that. Recently, we had a visitor to the center who joined us for the first time. And she toured the facility and spent some time in our gallery. And the beautiful thing about this is that when she came back to the lobby, she was greeted by one of our staff members. And our staff member asked, what did you think of the exhibit? And I'm proud to say that she paused, took a moment, and smiled and said, you know, this is the first time I've been in an art gallery. This moment highlights the importance of arts access and how important it is to have in our community. This past year, we've hosted seven different gallery exhibitions that have featured a variety of mediums. They have featured shows that are solo exhibitions, shows that feature collaborations with artist collaborations with um, collectives and alliances. It's also featured a jury show, a student exhibition, where we have uplifted student artists from Thomasville High School Specialty Center for the Arts. So we have definitely had a wide, wide breadth of artistry showcased in this beautiful space. In addition to our gallery, we encourage our community members, learners of any age, whether they be a kinder learner, a K through 12 learner, or a lifelong learner, to join us at the Perkinson Center to create by enjoying one of our educational offerings. This last year, we've gotten up to some fantastic mischief in our spaces. We've been able to host a variety of educational offerings that feature art, music, dance, and theater. And I'm so excited to say that we have been able to collaborate with a variety of fantastically skilled teaching artists, and we've connected them with community members. So it's been wonderful to see how they utilize the space, to see what we can do in each space and how best to accommodate the needs of the space for the teacher and the um, students in which we um, are proud to host. We also invite those to experience. It's all about experiences. This last year, I will admit, we are charged with creating moments for others to experience the arts, and to be influenced and impacted by them. And I will admit that this last year has been a very interesting one. Like many other industries, we have been impacted by the pandemic. And as an organization charged with bringing people together for collaborative experiences, it's been a challenge. But I will say that the arts always endure. This last year, we have been able to host a variety of concerts that have uplifted, uplifted a variety of uh, genres, classical to contemporary, bluegrass, jazz, anything you can think of, we've had it, whether it be through a partnership or the foundation has presented it. We've had symphonies. We've had our audience chamber transformed into a 70-foot long string tarp that mesmerized audiences. We've welcomed musicals, we've welcomed plays, we've kept people laughing during the hardest of times through our comedy shows. And we've also been enchanted through the stories of Sleeping Beauty and The Nutcracker, told through the beauty of dance. It's been a joy to finally get into this space and see what it can do 
All of these experiences, all of these collaborations have allowed us to do this. And I'm proud to say that every artist that we've worked with, every group that we've worked with has said, when do we come back? So that is a feather in our cap, definitely. Through the work in our gallery, educational offerings, and in our theater, I'm proud to share that we have served over 25,000 patrons in this very unique year with our opening. And we look forward to seeing that number grow in the next year. With that, as I work my way to a close, I'd like to take this opportunity to invite you all, as well as those watching at home and in the audience, um, to join us during our 2022-2023 season at the Parkinson Center. And here's just a couple highlights. We are excited to be welcoming again our partners in-house, uh, Cadencia Orchestra, Pearl Street Comedy, and Broken Leg Theater. We will have lots of music and comedy and plenty of musical theater on tap for you. We look forward to our continued partnership with Chesterfield County, as well as our friends at the Chesterfield County Public Library, with a special shout out to our neighbors across the way at the Chester Branch. We look forward to welcoming the Richmond Performing Arts Alliance for a day of creative learning later this fall. And we also look forward to welcoming the faculty members of the Department of Art and Design in September with their gallery exhibition entitled Confluence. We will be welcoming again to our stage for several opportunities this year, the Richmond Symphony. And we will be also welcoming to the stage for the first time our friends at Virginia Opera. Our holiday season will be kicking off with Snow Maiden presented by Synetic Theater. And later in the spring, we will be welcoming Dasha Kelly Hamilton with her one woman production entitled Making Cake, as well as classical pianist Baron Ryan with his program entitled Classical Meets Cool. These are just a few of the examples of the programming that we have coming up in the next year. And trust me when I say we have plenty more waiting in the wings. At this time, I'd also like to say thank you. Thank you for your time this evening. Thank you for your support. Thank you for investing in the arts. Again, the arts are essential to humanity and they help our communities thrive. And as a Chester native, a Chesterfield County native, someone who has dedicated her life to the arts, it's a beautiful thing to see this investment made. The Perkinson Center for the Arts and Education is a proud nonprofit that serves Chesterfield County, the Tri-Cities, and the greater Richmond area. Welcome to your new home for the arts. Thank you. Board members, any comments? Uh, I'm going to turn it over to our res resident thespian uh, on on the uh, on the dais. No, I just I just wanted to say thank you, and um, obviously yes, I have a strong uh, entertainment and theatrical background, and I'm so excited that we have the Arts and Education Center here in Chesterfield. I think it's a, a huge benefit for school children to be able to become engaged, and for like you said, adults who've maybe never been to an art gallery before, and. Uh, certainly, it's something that um, I personally greatly appreciate, and I'm so glad that you all have endured through some of the rough years re most recently, and that I'm excited for your lineup. So I'll, I'll be there. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. That was excellent. And uh, uh, I know Mr. Holland and I had the opportunity uh, to be down there a little while ago, and um, uh, you all are doing a wonderful job. Your whole team, you can tell, as a family and works together extremely well, and that just increases the experience for everybody. So appreciate you. Thank, thank you, Mr. You. Chairman. Thank, thank you, members of the board. I would be remiss if I didn't say thank you for the hospitality you showed us when we came down. And 25,000 patrons, that's quite significant. So we're mm -hmm. well on our way to greatness, even greater art activity. Thank you and all the best. Thank you very much. And considering the year that we've had, open an art center during a pandemic, they said. <laughs> It'll be fun, they said. But it's been wonderful to serve our community, and we look forward to seeing that number grow. Thank you. Thank you. And um, as, as she exits, uh, again, I, one thing you didn't mention, but it was a nice partnership. Uh, it was the world premiere site of the Jailhouse Redemption uh, series featuring our HARP participants from uh, Sheriff Leonard's jail which I still understand is on Discovery Plus, and it's staying on Discovery Plus until nobody watches anymore, but apparently everybody keeps watching it, so uh, 
Again, the tip is uh, subscribe for free for a week and binge watch it, and you will get through it. <laughs>